Hi right, class, my name is Muhammad Prince, and this is my week three discussion post. So for my overview, I'm going to go over uh, Luther Gulick's theory of organization, Mary Parker Follett's theory on giving orders, and Dwight Waldo's theory of public administration. So uh, Gulick is known for his work in public administration. Um, he came up with the POS uh, DCORB. This stands for planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordination, reporting, and budgeting. So this is his view of the management functions. Um, he came up with departmentation, and um, which is grouping people by purpose, process, um, persons or thing in place. And um, from the article, I took this uh, passage that says every large scale or compl complicated enterprise requires many men to, to carry it forward. Wherever many men are, thus working together, the best results are secured when there is a division of work among these men. The theory of organization therefore has to do with the structure of coordination imposed upon the work division units of an enterprise. Hence, it is not possible to determine how an activity is to be organized without at the same time considering how the work in question is to be divided. Um, work division is the foundation of organization, indeed the reason for organization. That's uh, one of his most famous quotes. And um, he he uh, felt that coordination of work um, becomes mandatory and that coordination can be achieved in two ways by organization. Um, this is interrelating the subdivisions of work and um, by dominance of an idea that is through the development of intelligence um, and a singleness of purpose in the minds of men. So Mary Parker Follett uh, giving orders. So she felt that leadership is not defined by exercise of power, but by the capacity to increase the sense of power among those led. Um, she felt that the most essential work of the leader is to create more leaders. So to develop talent, which is one of the biggest uh, things when it comes to management is developing your uh, direct reports. And um, she believed in creating resolution through integration. Um, power is not coercive, which is power over, but coactive, which is power with. And um, true leaders, according to Follett's theory, create group power rather than personal power. So Dwight Waldo. So um, he's most closely associated with the history and theory of public administration and the new public administration movement of the 60s. Um, Waldo frequently shared his views on the dichotomy of politics and administration um, and the politics administration dichotomy debate um, was uh, like a slippery subject and um, different people had different views. Some felt that they're one in the same. Some felt that they needed to be completely separate and um, and uh, some felt the opposite which um, does not have a generally agreed upon label. Um, but uh, others accept partial versions, but categorize them differently. So uh, Waldo was mainly the theory of public administration and the separation between politics and administration. I just want to say thank you for watching my video, and I look forward to interacting with you all in the comments.